All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion, slash review for the 2023 3D animated film called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. This definitely won't be for everyone. Uh, but here's the plot, the turtles, turtle brothers set out to win the hearts of New Yorkers and to be accepted as normal teenagers. Their new friend April O'Neil helps them take on a mysterious crime syndicate, but they soon get in over their heads when an army of mutants is unleashed upon them. Now here is some of the voice casts. Now, before we go on, this is me, my personal opinion. I know it's got great reviews. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna hear a bash the film, but I personally wasn't a big fan of the voice cast. And but I did, I love the art design they went with. This was trippy at first, a little hard to get into. Also at first for a couple minutes of the film, but it looks like a oil painting layer over 3D animation. While ex explosions, clouds, and parts of the background look like pencil or art drawings. Which, none of that is a bad thing on this count. I can definitely see what age de demographic this is mostly geared towards. Uh, that would be kids because of the many modern day references they shoved in here. Like, they even uh, talked about uh, Adele. Okay. Uh, and then she's still like a hot music icon at the moment um on top of how child like the turtles acted and of course with with stuff for the par uh, parents thrown in there along with shout outs to the 90s live action films i think the first one was late 80s maybe i don't know uh i was honestly sur surprised by the fourth wall breaking aka the real world uh videos mixed in there with the animation world uh definitely appreciate the creativity that did this direction animation films are going these days very refreshing now the story was solid as well no complaints there but to be honest i thought this was just okay yeah it had stuff put in there for parents of my generation compared to generation x but clearly i wasn't the target audience which is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not here to bash that film for any reason. If I had kids, this and the old live action films would definitely be on my long list to show them. Again, this film wasn't really for me. It definitely wasn't target targeted to me. And I honestly couldn't get invested into the film. Um, but here's my rating. And that's so when you see the rating, you'll understand. I don't think the movie is bad at all. It's just one of those films that doesn't catch my interest. I can think of friends and family that are parents that would enjoy this more than I did, for sure. But as always, leave your thoughts down below. Um, I got great reviews, which is it's fine, it's fine. I'm not saying it's bad or anything, I want to make that very clear. It's just one of those films that, no matter how good it is, it's this doesn't appeal to me. For some reason, I think it might have been the animation, even though I kind of like the animation at the same time, I'm kind of afflicted. But I think it's also, I think it's mostly just kind of the tone of it, where it was, along with the voice acting tone, where they're more children like and they just didn't sound more adult like I'm used to. So it's between being used to it, what I'm usually used to, and also just kind of the tone of it. So uh, I do recommend it for, for parents though, for, for, kids for teens uh definitely for the younger generation and the whole thing about this is i can totally see this being you know parents tend to want to show their kids films and stuff that they were had as a kid so i can see this being part of that even though technically it was not part of their show that childhood the originals were in the uh, cartoon uh, from the 80s but you know it's just i can see it, it it's kind of warming them up to the 
their world that they want to show it to them. So I definitely do recommend it for a specific group of people. But remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. And we will have a new set and theme uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, next month, the, the, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, so we'll have that, then we'll have Thanksgiving, and then we'll have Christmas, and then we'll go back next year in 2024. Okay? So, remember I love you all. Please stay safe. School.